Shield Locator allows you to pinpoint changes in shield integrity when you're testing shielded cable. This may or may not be a problem, it might just be a shield change, but it could be an issue with your shield. First we'll go through some basic setup. I'm going to go into settings, I'm going to go to test settings, and I'm going to enable show shield integrity. That's going to give me an indication on my wire map whenever there's an issue with the shield. The second thing I need to do is in my project I need to specify that I'm using shielded cable. So I'm going to go in here real quick. I'm going to edit my cable. I'm going to just use a generic shielded and we'll use a cat6 shielded cable here. And we'll save that. Now we're ready to run a test. So we'll go back to our test screen and we will just run a test. And once our test completes, we can take a look at our shield locator. So we did have a failure. Uh, we failed crosstalk, we failed return loss. Now if we look at wire map, wire map passed. Now on a simple wire map tester, you'll see just that shield has continuity and you might think it's a pass. In this case, we've got an indication that roughly 43 feet from the main and about 44 feet from the remote, this is the test pro, we have an issue. Now with, uh, with NSA, you can also see this information from a single end, uh, but with uh, the test pro, you can see it uh, as a dual end and you can view it from main and remote. I'm going to go to my details tab here and we're going to scroll down and look at shield locator. And when we pull up shield locator, here we see a TDR trace of the shield and the distance to the event. And if I click where this first event begins, right in here, we'll get zeroed in on that. I see that, yes, about 43 feet away is where this starts. And then over on this side, we're about 52 feet away, so almost 9 feet. And in this case, this shield has been mostly compromised, and it has just a little bit of continuity along this section of cable. So the shield was damaged, and it is showing up on here. And this could result in problems with noise ingress into the cable. So that is how you use the shield locator to find problems with the shield.